Hi everyone, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Data Streaming Summit, uh, and look who are with me, Rais Pasha, CPO at Rising Wave. Rais, welcome to the Robert Show. It's your debut. Yeah, hi. Thank you. Nice, nice for having me, having me here. Yeah, for sure, Rais. Um, just for audience, would you like to quickly tell us more about what you do at Rising Wave? A uh, little bit more about your roles and responsibilities as well. Yeah, so I am the CPO at Rising Wave Labs. Right. Um, I lead the product team. Sort of been with the company for three years now. Nice. Uh, it's a small, uh, small startup, four-year-old company. Yep. Um, my job is basically the interface point between customers and engineering, figuring out as early stage company what the product market fit is for the product, uh, what product direction, um, especially from the strategic point of view. Yep. And also help the sales team with early POCs and you know community engagement and so on and so forth. That's awesome, and uh, we've obviously seen the partnership that y'all have with Stream Native, and uh, y'all are here obviously to support uh, Stream Native as well. As partners, I'm kind of curious to learn a little bit more about what products do y'all offer, and what's the partnership like with Stream Native? Can you share a little bit about that? Sure. Yeah. So Stream Native, they are a valued partner. Uh, very early on, our founder and their founder, you know, have a close relationship, and obviously the product also has. Lot of complementarity, like they are a yep. message queue. They are a, they're like like Kafka, Pulsar is a one of the leading message queues, and stream, Rising Wave is a stream processing database. So yep. for us, one of the primary sources of data that we get from is a message queue, like Kafka or Pulsar or those. So from that perspective, we have deep integration with Pulsar, uh, both in product integration to figure out from a use case perspective how to manage uh, traffic, how to manage back pressure from sources, how to throttle traffic if you need to. Yep. So all those are built in, it's not like a artificial integration with a connector, but it's much more in-depth. So, and from even business perspective, we have common customers, and right. uh, our communities overlap quite a bit. So yeah, we love the relationship, and obviously we come here every year. That's awesome, uh, that's pretty cool to hear. Uh, I'm kind of also curious to learn from you a little bit about um, What's happening in the data streaming space? Say, in how do you see the future, say, in the eight to 12 months? How do you see the space moving? And then we can get into the weeds of, uh, you know, uh, different things. Yeah, so um, the way I see is data streaming is no longer a niche, right? Uh, what, gone were the case through our three years back when we had to explain what stream processing was, how streaming was, um, because batch was predominant. Stream, batch is still predominant, but that red bright line between the two is gone. Now it's more of a spectrum where a lot of the workloads that used to play for batch can also have a work for streaming. So Very in important. A, in a way, it's not a binary choice where someone says, I need this versus that. So you can see where streaming can help, and that canvas has expanded quite mm. a bit. And we see that a lot with newer technologies, where, you know, the ecosystem itself is growing. And you, you see that with Iceberg, especially as a trend that's come in, where it's easy to have a single copy of data that can address both streaming workloads as well as batch workloads. Yeah, uh, that's uh, fantastic insights. Uh, I'm kind of also curious to learn a little bit since you mentioned Iceberg, and you know we've been kind of seeing the openness in the ecosystem. Uh, so kind of uh, wanting to learn from you, how do you see uh, this along with the community? And what are you most excited when we you know, see this openness in the community as well? Yeah, I mean, this has been the general trend in technology, right? Like uh, common versus custom, right? Even with Kafka, a lot of the technologies where the API becomes common, that it, it uh, fosters a lot of innovation and making it better from a cost and performance perspective. The same thing's happening with the table formats now with Iceberg. Yep. Like common table formats allow you to have not just one company hold a sort of a vendor lock-in, but everybody as a community innovates and then the customer in the end benefits, right? And you see Iceberg is another classic example of how technology's openness is, is really nurturing ecosystem. And uh, at, in a, the, at the end of the day, both for the vendors also, it's very easy because complementarity, adjacency to Iceberg, like for a very company important. like Rise, Rising Wave, it's very, it's a boost because we cannot on our own start a new format and make it popular, right? It's easy to go and adopt something that's already a, uh, has traction so that we can build on top. Yeah, uh, I love it. Uh, uh, thanks for sharing that. And uh, I'm kind of also uh, wanting to learn a little bit more about the what's happening here at conference. Like uh, I've seen the keynote uh, just this morning and some fantastic announcements were made. What was your favorite uh, track? If you had any key takeaways that you can share would be amazing. 
Yeah, my answer probably is a little biased because <laughs> I, I think uh, streaming Lake House was, I thought, was one of the key themes that I thought, yes. which, which is very close to what we are doing, right? With the Rising Blue Labs, we have a managed iceberg service that we launched, which basically allows you to bring in data from Pulsar, like stream native data. All the Pulsar topics can be mapped to iceberg tables. Yep. And the ice compaction, all of that catalog management, all of the lifecycle management of those tables can be done in a streaming fashion as opposed to using an old fashioned, uh, like a batch model, right? Yep. So that I think is a new trend that we feel can will be adopted more and more in the next 12 months. And I like the fact that that was highlighted quite well during the keynote. Love it. Um, uh, also, if, talking a little bit about Data Streaming Summit itself, like we see all the experts, all the community members coming together for this conference. So what do you feel, uh, how does it help the community grow, but at the same time, um, how is it helping the space move very quickly as well? Yeah, no, I mean, these events are great because um, they are very developer-centric. Right, we are talking about people who build things as opposed to so true. trade shows where you're just going for from a commercial, like from a sales perspective. Yep. So you really have meaningful, in-depth conversations about actual business problems we're trying to solve. So it's not the technology is to an end, right? It's yep. not just to showcase that you have something cool to show. Uh, show, right? So from that perspective, I think the conversation that I've had here with some of our common customers, it's been really. Ref it shows the value of. Um, what Stream Native is doing, and obviously with other partners together. What's next for uh, Rising Wave? I'm kind of curious to know uh, what's uh, what's on the cards. Rising Wave, I think for us, we have a, well, the strategy. We are a core competency is still stream processing, so we'll continue to invest in that. Nice. Now, Iceberg is something that we have really fo focused on. Last few releases have been about providing that managed Iceberg service, right? Very important. And our core ecosystem is still. Uh, wire compatibility with Postgres allows us to allow uh, as a drop-in replacement for anybody who's using Postgres. Yes. So all uh, to me, those three pillars like streaming, Postgres compatibility, and Iceberg, those are the three key areas. We'll continue to invest, and we feel the the market itself is moving to, towards those anyway. So we feel excited about the future. That's fantastic. Uh, if you have to rate from zero to ten <coughs> about data streaming uh, summit, uh, how much would you rate? A uh, ten. A 10? 10, yeah. Oh, wow, they I love, love it. Uh, Stream Native, and I think they do a great job each year in, year out. So, yeah, kudos to CJ and team. I, I love it as well because they bring all, like you said, uh, not only just the developer centric audience, which are actually building stuff and actually being using, but at the same time, also those enterprise leaders who are really. Uh, making that difference to make the space and this category grow. Uh, so that makes it super interesting. One last question for you, uh, Raiz, is around uh, all the products uh, and the <coughs> announcements that you all do at Rising Wave. And if people want to reach out to you as well, first of all, where can they find all the announcements? Because you and your team have been nonstop. We've seen that uh, online. Uh, but uh, if they want to Obviously, learn about that, and then also reach out to you, which is the best place. If there's one thing that they want to do, then join our Slack community. Okay. That is the best. I could tell you to go to LinkedIn, our website, those are all great. <laughs> but if you really want to know what's happening, join our community, go to risingwave.com nice. slash Slack. That's it, simple. And then Best you join way the to reach the best team. Way to reach us. You, you directly deal with the developers who build the product. Oh, you're not it. dealing. You're not talking to someone like me who's, who's going to talk about product, but actually do. You can really build, and if you have questions, you get answered, demos, all sorts of good stuff is there in the community. It also gives them the <coughs> access to you know the right uh, people like themselves, the peers who have been doing the similar sort of things in this space. So that's the best way. Exactly, uh, yeah, because yeah. we're open source product, right? Everything's open. So people try our product before they even get to us, right? Yeah, exactly. So from that perspective, Slack community is the best place. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, Rise, such a pleasure chatting with you on the Robert Show. We'll keep the conversation going, but uh, great work by you and the Rising Wave team. And yeah. thanks for, again, visiting the Robert Show. All right. Thank you, Such Ravi. a pleasure. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you.